uh, I went my way after I apologized, but yet I didn't believe in him at that time. But I, yet I knew I got these feelings from someplace, but yet I still couldn't believe in God. Well, it wasn't shortly after that somebody, a friend of mine that I used to play in a group with, came to my door and knocked on the door, and he said, Hey, Jim, I've got some great news for you. Or great news, i got to tell you what happened to me. And I said, what? Because this, this guy, he was, we had kind of had it out, and we were friends, and I, I, we did a lot of things. We had gone through a lot of things together, but yet it was just one of those things where your friendship is ending, and you just get out of my life, leave me alone. You've hurt me too many times. I've hurt you. We don't need to see one another type of thing, you know. But he came to my house, and uh, he said, he said, I got I to gotta tell you, oh, come on in, you know. And so he said, I got saved. And I said, saved? You too? I hear everybody talking about this saved stuff. And uh, he says, I got to tell you. He says, I, remember, he says, I was doing drugs. He says, I don't, it doesn't bother me anymore. He says, I don't have to do drugs. And he told me a little bit of his testimony. Because both of us, were, we were doing drugs, and uh, we were kind of a lot alike. We were both, you know, in deep, you know, we both, our lives were a mess, and it really looked like something had happened to his life, and so I said, well, tell me about it, and because I was always kind of eager to hear, if I thought something was true, I was always eager to hear if that, if what was behind it, and if there was any truth to it, and so he told me how to get, he told me that he had gotten saved, and he had told me what he did, and so it was, he had to go, he was kind of in a hurry, so off he went. So I thought, I'm going to try that. <laughs> I'm going to give this a try. And so I, in my bedroom that night, I said, Lord, I remember standing there in, in the bedroom. I was living with the, the four other guys, three other guys. It started out with three and then it ended up with four. And I was living at that time. My bedroom was a, a porch. But what they did is they closed it off and made a bedroom out of it. And it was just a little bitty place, enough for a bed to fit in and a enough for my instruments, and I had a couple, uh, like a stereo and different little things in there. That was mine. And uh, I said, Lord, I want to get saved. Come into my heart. <laughs> and uh, nothing happened. And I said, yeah, okay, Lord, come into my heart. And so I said, Lord, I really want to get saved. Come into my heart. And so I asked him, I believe, nine times that night to do that. And nothing happened. I didn't feel any different, so I went to bed, got up the next morning and did my usual deal, you know, get high, go to work, do that. And at night again, that's what came to my mind. So about nine times that night, I said, Lord, come into my heart, and nothing happened. And every night for a week, I believe I said for about uh, uh, nine times, Lord, would you come into my heart and save me? I want to get this over with. If you're there, I want to know you're there. Uh, my friend told me that you're real. He knows it. Somehow, I don't know how, I want to know you're real. And nothing happened. Well, it was about a week later of doing that, he showed up on my doorstep again. And I said, yeah, right, saved, you know, <laughs> tell me all about it. He says, no, no, he says, it's real, you know. And I said, yeah, you, you know, and I rolled my eyes, and I'm kind of giving him the riot act a little bit, you know. And then he started telling me, and he started uh, sharing some Bible verses with me that the just shall, or not the just shall live by faith, but that uh, we're saved by faith and not of, of works, but it's that we believe that Jesus Christ died for us, and that whosoever believe on him shall be saved. And so he went through, and he, he told me some scriptures, you know, and, and he says, what you need is just a little bit of assurance. And he's only a Christian that's been saved for about uh, uh, a week at that, or not a week, for about a month at that time, but the Lord just told him what I needed. And so um, we kind of just did some things, you know, and uh, he wanted me to take him somewhere, and I was living in Muskegon at that time. And so I said, yeah, I'll take you there. And so uh, I took him there, and I said, I'd really like to get saved, but I don't know. And so he said, let's pray, and uh, we prayed. And he says, no, just say this to me. I believe Jesus died for me. And I said that, and he says, now say I'm a Christian. 
And I said, I'm a Christian. And I go, yeah, this is really stupid. And he says, nah, say it again. Say it like you mean it, you know. And I says, so I said, okay, I'm a Christian. And he says, come on, say it like you mean it. I says, all right, I'm a Christian. You know, and, and it happened. It was like all of a sudden something took place in my heart. And it just, it was like the sky opened up. I knew there was a God and he was real. And from that moment on, I knew that uh, a lot of questions that I had asked God about my friends of being in different denominations going to hell, I knew that if they loved God and Jesus was their Savior, that they were going to go to heaven. And I knew that whatever God says is sin is sin. And so from there, I began my Christian walk. Um, I had decided that I wasn't going to go back to the church that I had grown up in. As far as I was concerned, I was never going to go in another church as long as I lived because I felt they stole from me or didn't give me what I really longed for ever since I was a little kid was a relationship with God. And God talks to you. He'll talk to you if you just uh, seek him and do what he asks you to do. And that is disobey, just obeying him and getting into his word and trusting him. He'll talk to you. But it's a different way. That it's just something that's heartfelt. And because it's with your heart that you know that you're saved. It's like when you love your wife or your children or your husband. You know from your heart that you love them. It's not your mind that tells you that you love them. But it's your heart that tells you. And your heart tells your mind. And that's how God deals with us. It's through the heart. It's through our spirit. And so I said I wasn't going to go to church anymore. And I was still doing drugs and I couldn't get rid of it. Well, it was about six months into that that uh, I was still doing it, but I was trying to quit. And I wasn't going to church anywhere. But then God did something special in my life and he freed me from drugs. And I'd never since then have had a desire to, to get drunk or... Uh, to drink, I mean, uh, to do drugs. He freed me from that, and I'm very thankful that he freed me from that. And then after about nine months of being a Christian and just reading the Bible on my own and, and trying to find out and just trying to figure out what it all meant and, and studying it, um, he said to me, I've got to find a church. And um, I said, Lord, don't make me go back there. Please don't make me back, go back there. I said, they'll steal. I don't know why I said this, but I said, they'll steal from me what I've got, and I don't want to lose this. And uh, I knelt down to pray, and I opened the Bible up, and, the Bible, and I looked down, and it said, for you don't put new wine in old bottles. You put new wine in new bottles. And God spoke to me, and he says, I've got a new place for you. And I just got up rejoicing. I was so happy. And within two months, I found a church. They just happened to have a Bible school there where I got to study and uh, got into the Bible, uh, studying to be a pastor or to, to get into the ministry. And it's been quite a few years since I've... Uh, gotten out of school but since then the last four years I've served as a the music minister in a church and uh, now this coming year I'm gonna be leaving to go to Arkansas to help pastor a church there and so I praise God the the thing that was in my heart all those years uh, is coming true